Hi, I'm QDC. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to take you on a um, on a ride on an actual M3 half track for World War II. So it's an exciting thing for me to get on and ride a World War II vehicle, and because of technology, I'm actually able to actually take you along with me for this ride. So just to give you a brief history of the M3 half-track. Um, during the Second World War, um, the military officials in the United States began to realize that the old ways of having infantry going with the tank was just impractical. Uh, Army vehicles were going much more, was growing much more sophisticated and faster and so the traditional way of having uh, infantry either going by truck or just by them um, just walking to the battlefield along with the with the armored vehicles became impractical. So they designed the M3 half track based on the French Citroën design. So the um, idea of the M3 half track was to be simplistic. If you knew how to drive a truck, then you knew how to drive an M3 half track because it was very very similar to that. It was basically a truck design, except that in the back, instead of wheels, it was simply track. But it drives exactly like a truck. So, during the Second World War, the M3 half track wasn't a very popular um, vehicle for you know for the military. It had its uh, it had its um, downcomings, but after the war, when it became obsolete, the M3 half track was still around. Um, Many countries still use the M3 half-track after the war, and one of the more famous countries that used the half-track for a very long time is Israel. Israel had many M3 half-tracks, and they kept on using it, and if I'm, if I'm not wrong, I think they stopped using it sometime back in the 1990s. So, in this particular ride that we're going to go on, it's going to be on a Israeli M3 half-track. According to the museum curator, this M3 half track was has fought in the Six Day War. So I am excited to take you along with me along this ride. So let's go ahead and enjoy riding on the M3 half track for World War II. Hi, I'm QDC. So right now we're in Fairfield, California, and I'm going to go ahead and ride on the M5 half track here. It's a beautiful warm day here, it's here in Fairfield, and uh, I hope you're going to enjoy the, uh, enjoy the ride with me.
All right, we're back. So I hope you enjoyed this joyride um, on the M3 half track. The best way I could describe riding on that M3 half track is um, for those of you who had the fortune or misfortune, depending on how you look at it, of riding on the uh, on a, on the back of a lorry or on the back of a pickup truck, it felt exactly like that. Uh, the the suspension is really, really rough. Um, it was pretty bouncy. And so it just felt like you were being tossed around in the back of the truck um, when I was going on the M3 half track. So I was just, just jostled around. So it was really, um, it's kind of like a weird co roller coaster ride. That's, that's the best way I could describe it. But anyway, um, now you didn't think that I was going to make this video and not actually build a model kit of that. So what I'm going to do is I found this very old kit that I started but I never finished. It's the Dragon M16 um, multiple gun motor carriage and so I'm going to uh, finish up this model kit. I haven't built this kit since I think it was 2014 and I forgot the reason why I didn't finish it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this, uh, this model kit up and hopefully you get to enjoy that. I'm QDC and thanks for watching. And, and also, I forgot, um, please build a model kit of your own, really. I'm not making these videos just to entertain myself. I'm doing it really, again, just to have you enjoy your own model kit. Take care.